In 2016, the American people voted to reject this corrupt globalism. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. I'm not the President of the globe. You voted to make America great again. We are making America greater than ever before, and it's happening before your eyes. Bitter Democrats and their establishment cronies have spent every single day since 2016 trying to undermine the results of this incredible, historic, presidential election that we won together. So we want to keep it going. And we want to do it the easy way. So this election day, go out there and vote. You got to vote. Everybody's got to go out and got to vote. I want to give a victory speech. I want to give a victory speech on the evening of Election Day, which is coming up very quickly. We're going to be talking about America. We're going to be talking about the greatness of our country. We're not going to let people undo the incredible job that we've done over the last almost two-year period. So don't forget. Early voting, folks, early voting, October 20th. Now, we need, we need in this election to do something special. I'm not saying there's ever going to be a time like we just went through. And a lot of people say that you're complacent now. You win the presidency and you're complacent. I don't think we're complacent. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I did. I'll tell you what I did. Last week, I said, update it. I said, update it. I want to show you, I don't believe there has been any administration in the history of this country that has done more in two years, that we're not even up to two years yet, than our administration. Look at this. So I said, just write down some of the things. Each one, each one, point, 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 four and a half pages, almost four million jobs created since the election. More Americans are now employed than ever recorded before. Think of that. Today, more Americans are working than ever before. We've created more than 400,000 manufacturing jobs. Remember when President Obama said you can't have manufacturing jobs anymore? By the way, he's campaigning again. That's good news. Because if that doesn't spur you on to work, you know, when I was running, I swear, I think he campaigned harder than Hillary Clinton. And we won big. 306, 223. Remember, there is no way, right? There is no way that Donald Trump gets to 270. No, we got to 306. Look, manufacturing jobs, which he said you'll never have again. I'm saying, why won't you have it? We're not going to make anything? These are the best jobs. You know, manufacturing, they're like the best jobs, the most important jobs. Manufacturing jobs growing at the fastest rate in more than 30 years. Economic growth. So they say, when I took this over, I'm telling you, it was a sick puppy. We were headed down. So last quarter, we hit 
GDP 4.1, adjusted upward 4.2 percent, right? Look, point, point, point. Look at this. New unemployment claims recently hit a 49-year low. You know what that means? Simple. That means people are working. They're working. You know this, you've been hearing, and now it's even better. African-American unemployment has recently achieved the lowest rate ever recorded. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose, remember? <laughs> remember I said, what do you have to lose? People said, oh, that's not nice. I said, hey, I go through a chart. It talked about the highest crime rates, the worst education, the worst home ownership. I'd go through, and I just looked up one day and I said, you've always been with the Democrats. Vote for me. What the hell do you have to lose? Remember that? Right? Right? Hispanic. Any Hispanic here? I think so. Hispanic American unemployment is the lowest rate in history. Any Asians, Asian, Asian, any Asian. Asian American unemployment recently achieved the lowest rate ever recorded in our history. You've heard me say this, women's unemployment, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, recently reached I'm sorry, only the lowest rate in 65 years. That's not as good. That's not as good as history. Soon, this is important, youth unemployment recently hit the lowest rate in nearly 50 years. So great. Under my administration, veterans unemployment recently reached its lowest rate in numerous decades, whatever that may be. Almost 3.9 million Americans have been lifted off food stamps. I mean, how good is that? Think of it. They live better, and it doesn't cost us anything, right? How good is that? We have companies now under the Pledge to America's Workers. They're training under our vocational programs workers. There's never been anything like this. We have retail sales surged last month, up over 6% over last year. We signed the biggest package of tax cuts and reforms in the history of the United States. Big. As a result of the tax bill, small businesses will have the lowest top marginal tax rate in more than 80 years. That's not bad. We got, through a little work and a little coordination, the United States bid for the 2028 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. We got it. That was us. We just got the U.S., Mexico, Canada. We just got the World Cup in 2026. We needed a lot of... I told you about the record number in history of regulations. That's such a big deal. We enacted regulatory relief for community banks and credit unions so they can now go and loan you money again. Last month, the FDA approved more affordable generic drugs than ever before in its history. And one of the things we did with the FDA is a thing called, I love the name, Right to Try. You know what that is? It was that if you were sick, terminally ill, and we had a drug in the hopper that looked like it was really working out, this country for 50 years would not let you use that drug. They'd say, no, it may harm you. Well, you're terminally ill. So they couldn't get, and there was a reason. I'm not, not that easy. A lot of liability, a lot of everything. Between the insurance companies and various 
different things, including government. I got it done. It's called right to try. So now, instead of if you have money, if you don't have money, this you just go to your room. If you have money, I know people, they traveled all over the world begging for a cure. We have the greatest medical people, the greatest medicines in the world. Now you have the right to try, and it's going to work plenty. It's a big thing. We just secured $6 billion for the new funding to fight the opioid epidemic. Six billion. You're like this. We withdrew the United States from the job-killing, income-killing Paris Climate Accord. That was costing our country. And we have the cleanest air now in the world. We have the cleanest water. Remember this. I'm an environmentalist. I want crystal clean water. I want crystal clean air. That's what we want. But I also want jobs to come to our country. So that was good. We secured a record 700. Listen to this. We confirmed more court judges, think of this, than anybody. And we're going to get, we just got Neil Gorsuch, I told you. We're going to get Brett. We've got great people. Look at this. We moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. We're protecting, remember they said, you'll never get that. They've said that about everything. You'll never get that, you'll never get elected, you'll never this. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Donald Trump. Oh. Remember the tears? Crying, crying, oh, oh. crying. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States. This is on television. And I say, oh, don't cry, please. I want to be happy. Don't cry. Now they're crying more than ever, except, you know, they're torn. Number one, they're crying, but they're making more money than they ever made because of us, because their stocks are. But you know what's going to happen with these? I tell them, about six months after we start six months before the election. They're going to endorse Donald Trump for president. You know why? Because if they don't, those broadcasting companies, the New York Times, all of those, they are going bankrupt so fast. So they'll be endorsing us. They'll be endorsing. So I could go on for page after page after page. Look at that. Page after page. And to me, a big thing. We're renegotiating the worst trade deals ever made by any country at any time. So Democrats, I had to bring that out. I, you know, just boom, boom, boom. Why not?